Hey guys, Nick here and this is my Linux experiment and uh, in this video I'd like to talk to you about a few things that will be coming in the next version of uh, Elementary OS. Uh, it's, uh, it will be called named Juno and it will jump straight from 0.4.1 which is the current release, uh, I think, yes. It will jump straight from 0.4 to 5.0. Uh, the developers explained that they wanted to convey a sense of uh, being ready for production and uh, being full featured and since it's the fifth release it's going to be 4.0 instead of 0.5. Uh, it's going to be based on Ubuntu 18.04 which will be the next uh, Ubuntu LTS version whereas the elementary OS 0.4 is based on Ubuntu 16.03 16.04 sorry uh, which was the latest LTS. So of course Elementary OS will include uh, most, uh, if uh, not all, of the Ubuntu 18.04 improvements but they also have been working on a few improvements of their own. Uh, they don't have a release de date yet but uh, it's supposed to be released uh, as soon as, uh, well, after uh, Ubuntu 18.04 is released which is uh, probably at the end of the month of April. So Elementary OS 5 it can be expected uh, in May, June or July probably before September. So what will be new in this release? Well, they've announced uh, a few things, but I have been able to piece together a few, uh, few other details uh, from their launchpad page and from a few articles which I will, will link uh, down in the video description. So first thing is uh, Nightlight. Nightlight is a little, um, a little way for you to reduce uh, your screen's uh, emission of blue light. It will basically uh, provide you with a way to progressively shift the color tone of your screen from blue to reddish uh, during the day. You can of course uh, tune it to the uh, cycle of uh, sun up, sunrise and sun down so that it shifts progressively and you will not really notice it if you use your computer during the day. Uh, second feature is going to be the Scratch app, which is the, uh, the text editor in uh, Elementary OS, which we have, for example, here. So this is uh, Scratch. Uh, it will be renamed Code and will have a few features uh, specifically designed for you to code. So it's going to follow the uh, naming convention for Elementary OS more closely, since uh, most of the apps just have the name of uh, what the app does. So you have photos, you have mail, and you will get code. Code Scratch is meant for coding. Uh, there will be a few improvements in the App Center. Uh, they have not listed them all, but one of them will be in the Updates tab. Uh, as you might have noticed uh, on Elementary OS, some of the apps have a price here, which is the recommended price. You can bypass it and uh, give zero dollars to download the app, of course. But for those who wanted to pay for the app afterwards, the only really simple way was to uninstall it and try to reinstall it by paying. So they have uh, talked about providing in the update tab uh, a special category for the apps that are paid for but you didn't pay them, didn't pay for, it, for them. So in every, uh, every time they will be updated, uh, they won't be updated if you click on the update everything uh, button, the blue button you get here to update all your apps and system software. Uh, you will have to click on each of them individually and re-enter the amount you want to pay. So that will be annoying for some people, but I can see the rationale behind that uh, since it is meant uh, it is meant to well to show you that the app development has a cost and that the app developer provides the app for you. You can get it for free, but he would like you to pay for his work. Uh, I'm not against this feature. Uh, we'll see how it turns out and if it's really really annoying or not. Uh, they will also be updating the notification system that you get here and the, uh, and the notification sounds, but I don't have more details. Uh, they have been released, they have released uh, a new uh, color palette, so you can expect the apps to use more vibrant and more flashy colors, a bit more mo modern. Uh, they will also feature a new installer, which is uh, depicted here. Uh, they've been working on a new installer with System76, uh, which is a, a, a computer provider, a Linux computer provider. And uh, well, System76 will be providing the backend, and uh, Elementary OS developers have provided the frontend. So they've been working on it, so you can see here some screenshots of it. So language selection, uh, keyboard uh, layout, uh, install or demo mode. Uh, selecting the installed disk, etc., etc. Uh, you can get a few uh, a few info on this article. This one is in French, but I'm pretty sure I can find one which is in English as well. 
There will be improving Bluetooth support with a few uh, bug uh, corrections. Uh, there will be less fiddling uh, to actually connect to a Bluetooth uh, device. They will also improve the high DPI support because Pantheon uh, as of now supports it but barely and so they have been working on that so you can expect uh, less blurry icons on high DPI screens plus a, f a slew of bug fixes and uh, some uh, better user interface scaling. Uh, there will probably as well be a few new icons added to the applications menu which will be probably a, a little uh, a little search icon, uh, you can see it here, uh, plus a little uh, tooltip that you can get when you hover over the applications button. Uh, they will be making the translucent, the top panel translucent uh, when you are in uh, in uh, in a minimized mode. Uh, well, I don't really see how that differs from what there is right now, but apparently uh, this is something not everybody got. Uh, you'll get some animated top panel icons, apparently. Uh, so some of the system indicators, as you can see here, will be a little bit more animated when you disable or enable them. But I don't think that's too big of an improvement. Uh, the battery indicator will be upgraded as well. Uh, the terminal will get a new color scheme, uh, a few new color schemes and a uh, font size uh, button. So you can see more clearly what you're typing and what your commands are doing. The Photos app will get a uh, black, uh, dark theme, plus high DPI support for thumbnails and uh, single photo views. Uh, this is a, Photos is actually a great app right now, but uh, these improvements will, I think, make it more usable, especially the dark theme, which is a favorite uh, to see your photos. So Nightlight, as I already talked about, here you can see uh, the interface. Uh, so you'll get the night light switch on or off. It will actually be in the displays uh, tab of the uh, parameters app. And you can, of course, tune the color temperature. Uh, there will be an app indicator up top here to, to manage that. The music app will get a nicer interface. So as you can see, this is what it should look like. Uh, so you'll get more buttons up top as opposed from some of them down there. And uh, you'll get better thumbnail uh, cover art uh, integration. And uh, well, that's about it for what we know about this new release. Uh, of course, I will be testing it and uh, putting out a few videos about Elementary OS 5 Juno, so stay tuned for more information. And of course, I'll link the articles down below so you can uh, enjoy this uh, read as well. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.